Hello everyone, uh, this is Grand Bulwark with Skyrim Project Stability. Uh, today we're going to talk specifically about BOSS. Now BOSS is the better Oblivion sorting software. Uh, it was designed originally for, you guessed it, Oblivion, uh, and it is what everyone on the Nexus has been using for quite some time to sort their load orders. Uh, it is required for support for my guide, and it is generally required for Skyrim, period. Um, when you install uh, BOSS, it will likely be in this similar folder structure, uh, local disk C BOSS, uh, that will vary. But in any case, once you have it installed, head to the BOSS general user interface. Now, when you're in this menu, you'll notice that there are quite a few things that uh, you can edit and change. Uh, generally, I'm going to turn this off for now. Um, Generally, leaving it alone is your best bet. Just open this up, uh, make sure your active game is Skyrim, and then run Boss. Now, right now, it's downloading the most recent master list of Skyrim, and it's also going to uh, download, look for any updates, and look for any uh, other things that it can find that may be wrong. Uh, in any case, once the log is brought up, you will see here that uh, BOSS has four primary groups. The summary, how many unrecognized, recognized, and how many total plugins you have, uh, the messages, the error messages, and the warning messages. Um, in any case, what we're going to cover today is your load order in general. Now, seeing here, uh, this has all already been sorted for you by BOSS, the recognized plugins tabs. However, the unrecognized plugins are specifically what we need to talk about because it does not know what to do with these as yet. Um, so what we're going to do from here is go to your load order, which, since I'm using Nexus Mod Manager, is of course located in the Nexus Mod Manager. And we're going to resort those unrecognized plugins. Uh, some programs also run BOSS normally when they're run, such as Skyproc Patchers. Um, if you'd like to circumvent that, you can also download a program titled SUM. S -U -M. Um, now, as I was saying, you can see that the top of my load order is fully sorted the way that it needs to be. Um, and now we're going to deal with what was unrecognized by BOSS. These three plugins here are examples of merged scripts that are my own. And of course, one is an example and the other one is just dated in general. So we're not going to worry about those. For now, we're going to worry about these, such as Mighty Beasts. Uh, I don't really know particularly where this one would go but I assume that it would go higher in the load order than this because it's just a simple mesh swap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them together uh, before enhanced blood textures. And I'm going to put the werewolf first and the vampire lord second. Uh, this is because werewolves were in the original game whereas vampire lords were not until the Dawn Guard DLC. Uh, Dawn of Windhelm, many of you may know, uh, is by Blue Piano 2 and is going to go right after his previous mod titled Dawn of White Run. Dawn of Windhelm, Dawn of White Run together. Next, we have Solcium Climate Overhaul, Climates of Terminal Compatibility Patch. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to put it after its last dependent which is the Climates of Terriel Dragon Dragonborn patch, located here. Uh, generally, this is all you have to worry about and all you have to do. Um, just make sure you put your unrecognized programs with uh, other similar mods, and generally don't let them build up again in your loader. Uh, also, don't forget to change any merged patches to uh, reflect any mod updates that you've had, and also uh, be sure to update your Skyprod patchers after adding or updating any mods.
Uh, this is Grand Bulwark signing off. Uh, thank you all for watching. And again, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to post in the forums.